Welcome back, adventurers, to episode 20. The so last episode, we rescued Minsk and Boo from the sewers. And Minsk and Boo are currently waiting for us back at our camp, and I do plan on recruiting them into our party after I recruit Karlak and Will and we attend Gortash's coronation ceremony. Now, I already looted this room. This is the room where we fought all of the cultists that were deceiving and manipulating Minsk. And there's one letter that I picked up that I wanted to read to you all. The Stone Lord's skull echoes with absence, and the tadpole alone is not enough to fill it. Take on the crone's dust pocket form and fill his thoughts with old adventures, that he might smile sweetly while he slaughters for us. And do not pulp the rodent. If its chittering gives the Stone Lord pause, then set it aside for me, so that we might give the great hero a final meal when his work is done. They're going to feed Boo to Minsk. Orin is a sick, sick character. Let's go ahead and head back to camp. We still have a lot to do in the sewers of Baldur's Gate, including exploring the Undercity Ruins. We're quite terrifying. We went in a little bit last episode and I ended up retreating because of all the assassins of Baal that were shooting down onto us from the rocks above. Okay, let's take a long rest. Zahira! Boo is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Boo greet cheek with hand. That sounds like a fun evening. We'll, we'll say nothing. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. So Minsk and Jahira discovered the cult of the Absolute in the past. But Minsk could not control himself and he went running in to the center of the cult and was captured. And that's why Jahira is mad at him, because she feels like they could have put a plan together and then destroyed the cult a long time ago. Or the trail would have ended there, instead of leading you to Catherick, the prism, me. You know better than to believe our victory is some destined thing. I need to be sure that Minsk knows it too. I have already pledged my sword and hamster both. What more does Minsk have to give? Your word, Ranger. That next time you will stop and think. I will not always be here to tell you what to do. If not here, then where? Wherever there is, Minsk and Boo will go to. My hamster, he will not be parted from you again, Jahira. I missed him too. And try as you might, I know you have not missed my point as neatly as you pretend. So for anyone wondering how Minsk is still alive, because he was a, an important character in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, which were in the 1360s, and Baldur's Gate 3 is in the 1490s. Minsk was petrified turned into a stone statue, and that's how his age was preserved. And I think only, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago or something like that, he was unpetrified. And Jahira is a half-elf, and half-elves can live for, I think, around 180 to 200 years of age. I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back, crossing the guild wading through filth defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends all for a madman and his rodent the absolute threatens thousands the entire coast and still you risk much to help one man i should berate you but i can only say thank you your reasons were your own but 
whether you meant for it or not. Your fight is our fight, huh? Both of us. To the very end. You know, even if my character was a little on the neutral side throughout this playthrough, I think I've generally been fairly good. Meeting Jahira, and also Minsk, a druid and a ranger. I think this is like a moment in time where my character really realizes that he wants to, to be on the good side. He wants to be on their side. Don't go getting sentimental on me now, Harper. Ah, those misty eyes are just age. As I feel myself growing older as we stand here. <laughs> so, lead the way. We're yours to command. Ask it. Okay. I'm going to talk to the other companions, and if you guys notice that you don't see me talking to a few of the companions, it's because I cut the video footage out. Because it takes a long time to talk to everyone. If they don't have anything new to say, I might as well just cut that out. But I'm sure Minsk has something to say. Fine lodgings you have found, my friend. Who is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place? <laughs> in Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat-formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all. Now, what do you need of Minsk? Do you remember why you were meeting with the Zentrum? So dark an alliance sealed with Zentish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. Do you think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about. But we shall simply... Ooh, why do you know at my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. There are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places. You must reach what Minsk cannot, the Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. You sound reluctant. The worm has already whipped me around the city like a slack-backed pony. I have no wish to settle myself a second time. But... If it cannot be Boo who pops inside my skull for a rummage, then I trust you. Or Jahira, but she is currently possessed of an empty head. <laughs> There's no need for that, Mintz. We'll find another way. I do not often go against the advisings of my hamster, but as you wish. Perhaps you might speak to the corpses you left behind. I'm sure Boo can scare his soul back into it long enough to answer some questions. You're quite quick to call me friend. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? <laughs> Of course we're friends, friend. Then you have a sword at your side and a hamster at hand, whenever you need them. Unless I die, or you die, or you do anything at all to upset Boo. Now, does Boo see a question in your eye, or just a parasite poking through? Okay. No question. Just the parasite. Ah, distressing. When our minds mingled, I saw some strange things. Oh, the mind of Minsk is a simple place. Of what strangeness do you speak? 
the memories resurface, a lifetime of battles blurring into one. A single constant is Minsk, launching into the fray no matter the foe, be they god, monster, or man. It seems just the barest glimpse of what the man before you has seen and done, but enough to know that he has no right to still be alive. Ah, wait! That look in your eye. I know exactly what visions of Minsk you have seen to cause you such wonder. My pants. Thrice laced in the Rashomar style, so that a berserker might split skulls without fear of splitting bridges, too. They are fiendishly complex, but fear not for Minsk. With training, he has learned to master the many little knots. Never mind your pants. You've walked between planes and fought gods. Well, as have you, no? Do not forget that when you gaze into Minsk, Minsk also gazes into you. We both fight evil. Wherever it is found, the who and where are less important than the hamsters you meet along the way. On this matter of sharing memories, I see no reason for us to worry at one another's words. If there is more we wish to know, we can simply ask, no? Of course. A warrior speaks their mind instead of reading others. Exactly so! If I must peer into the mind of my enemy, I use an axe. <laughs> For friends, there is ale. No, my friend. If you fear you have a question that Minsk cannot answer, then you can simply ask Boo. Yeah, we're gonna recruit him into our group after we do Karlak and Will. Level 1 human, so we're gonna have to level him up probably to our level, level 10. I have to level up my character in Jahira here in a second. I'm assuming that he is a ranger. Folk hero background, nice. Level 1 ranger. wonder if we can... I don't see Boo... I wonder if we can talk to Boo. That's what I want to try with Speak with Animals. I don't think it's going to work, though. All right, level 10 as a ranger. We get hide in plain sight. Camouflage yourself with the environment to become invisible. You gain a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks as long as you stand still. That's pretty sweet for my strength-based ranger. Invisibility ends early if you move, attack, cast another spell, take an action, or take damage, and lasts until long rest. You get to choose another favored enemy. We can do Bounty Hunter, Mage Breaker, or Sanctified Stalker, which gives you proficiency in religion, and you can cast Sacred Flame. Let's go ahead and take Sanctified Stalker. Doesn't really matter that much. Just doing it for the religion skill, I guess. Dang. Actually, Sacred Flame might be all right to have. A little bit of Radiant Damage if we need it. And for Natural Explorer, let's go ahead and take... Wasteland Wanderer Cold. Now we're resistant to Cold Fire and Poison Damage. Now I have to level Karlak up from level 7 to 10. Oh man going on 85 hp barbarians have the most base hp and we are going to let's go ahead and give arlac the great weapon master feat because she's a barbarian and we get reckless attack which gives you advantage on your strike and that works really good with the great weapon master feat and then at level 12 we'll increase her strength to 20 We'll go ahead and do that. I was tempted to do that on my ranger. I think I'm going to do it at level 12 with my ranger if we make it there. So, great weapon master. When you land a critical hit or kill a target with a melee weapon, you can make another melee weapon as a bonus action. Attacks with heavy melee weapons you're proficient with can deal an additional 10 damage at the cost of a minus 5 attack roll penalty. An extra 10 damage. 
you're much more likely to miss unless you can find ways to offset that minus five, which we can do with reckless attack. Okay. And at level nine, we get Brutal Critical. You've trained to strike swift and true. When you land a critical hit, you roll an extra damage die as well as the normal additional critical dice. Nice. And Bolstering Magic, level three spell slot. You are an ally, recover a level three spell slot. Awesome. Now we have over 100 HP and we get Unstable Backlash. While enraged, when you take damage or fail a saving throw, you trigger another wild magic effect that replaces the current one. Why is Karlak? I guess I must have gave her her armor to somebody else in my group. All right, we'll put on Psionic Ward for now. I'm not gonna have Karlak and Will in my group for that long. I think now that we have Minsk and Jahira available, so her having suboptimal gear is okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Same with Will. I haven't had Will in my party since he was level 4, so... <laughs> don't really have any gear for him. I think that's probably fine. Here, we'll give him a short bow. I got any good rings? No, they're all equipped on my other characters. It is what it is. Okay, let's travel to... Let's go to... Let's see. What would be the quickest way to the... Coronation Ceremony? The south span of Worms Crossing? Or the Basilisk Gate? Go to the Basilisk Gate. And then we'll take the exit right here. Can't wait to explore the city again. I think we're just gonna walk right up. We do have the admission pass. Could use disguise self. Or seeming. Let's do that just in case. Like that's a better RP move anyways. Okay, Karlak is the half orc and Will is the... Okay. The gnome. That's funny. Don't be shy. While I'm at it. Get F5 before we go in here. Who knows what's gonna happen? Oh, they're running from my wolf. What's your gripe with Saluna anyway, Shay? Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The watcher's presence fades. But another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Guess the sky's self didn't work in this instance. Your city, Gortash, you fuck. By the black hand, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Karlak, it's been an eternity. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. That's too funny. I didn't even think about it when I was in that conversation that I was speaking as Karlak. But the dialogue was clearly Karlak esque. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of Disguise Self. So I don't confuse myself. Seems like Gortash knows who we are right now, so.
And we'll lead with Karlak right now. There they are, Gortash and all their Raven Guard. Don't burn yourself. Do we lead with Karlak or do we lead with Will? Let's lead with Will, because that's his father. Kings people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. The tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. Do not be swept up in her emotions. I agree with the Emperor right now. True. Wow. Lead the charge, Karlak. Gortash dies today. I don't think that's a good idea. There's steel watchers all around us right now. Careful, Karlak. The Steel Watch will destroy us in one swipe if we attack Gortash here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, man. This is going to be real interesting. I have one inspiration point left. Oh, man. I wonder if we're going to get another opportunity to persuade her. I can't risk it. Roll again. Here we go. So we bide our time. But make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak, come and say a proper hello. My respects! You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. Sounds like Gortash is trying to work with us, just like Orin was. Orin wants us to kill Gortash. Why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. I'm not interested in bargaining with the likes of you, Gortash. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. True. What are you getting at? 
Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Hmm. Now that I think of it, Orin would be the last person that we would want to have the nether stones. Gortash, we don't want him to have them either, but Gortash kind of reminds me of a devil in a way. He doesn't want to create, you know, utter chaos. He doesn't want to destroy the world because he wants something to rule, while Orin seems like she just wants to slaughter everything. We still don't trust Gortash, of course. It's going to take a lot to make me trust you. I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together, we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? Oh, yes. I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. True. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. He's quite the politician. Let's examine Gortash's body language and expressions. Can you trust him? God, are you serious? No more inspiration points. You look carefully, but discover nothing. That would have been nice to know. It would be nice to have Gortash at least think that we're working together. Because then we wouldn't have to worry about the steel watch. At least for the time being. We can always agree to these things and just not, like the Emperor said, not go through with it. We can do whatever we want in this game. As allies, it seems none of you can be trusted. You, Orin, Ketherick. So Ketherick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise, but you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Ketherick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. I don't believe him when he says that, but maybe for the time being. I'll think about it, Gortash. No promises. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. The faceless in my camp was Orin herself. He took someone. I need to find her. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. 
A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. You, Orin Catherick, the Brain, what was your plan? First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thorne. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me. Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. And so begins your tyranny. Our tyranny. And we are saviors. Defenders of the Sword Coast. Our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Where in the Nine Hells did you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Wow, the fifth response is I'm taking you out. I'm assuming that that would turn into combat right now, which I don't think is the right call. Even though we probably are going to kill Gortash at some point. I have no interest in the sham of a ceremony. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. wonder if Will's going to say anything. Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? Nothing we can do right now. I don't think objecting is really gonna do anything except get us into trouble. I mean, Duke Ravengard is under the influence of the Absolute right now. We're gonna say nothing. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Damn. That's crazy. My friends. The Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Wow. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash in all his glory. What did you make of him? He 
seemed like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? When people are scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe, Karlak. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Stand ready. With Gortash at the head. Let's take Will and see if we can go speak to all the Raven Guard. You would give up the fists command? Back up my party. The pride of the gate. Must unite under one authority. Gortash is uniquely qualified for the endeavor. Under Gortash, the two will conquer the cult army and preserve our city and our heritage. Your father, once the Grand Duke, now a pawn in the Absolute's game. Your infected minds smolder in each other's presence. My dearest boy, the hells have touched you. But you've come to me, just as Gortash said you would. Father and son, unstoppable generals. Together, we will usher in a new dawn. My father, my hero, I'll save you from the Absolute's thrall. What is a hero, my son, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. You, Gortash, and I will ignite the final spark, my son. And that is the greatest of goods. Don't you understand, Father? You are infected with an illithid parasite. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. Help me. Your tadpole seizes. The prism stills. Raven Guard's empty eyes meet yours. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend to Rill's first and only grand city. And we can use our lithid wisdom powers to explore Raven Guard's uncertainty. With Will, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, why did I click? I didn't even look at the difficulty class. I wasted the Dark One's blessing. We got a 20. First comes a vision of terror. The city of Baldur's Gate taken by Lithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming Raven Guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. The true Raven Guard lurks somewhere in this infected mind, seeking freedom, seeking victory. Have we finished then? Let the people rejoice. Okay. In our shoot Gortash's hands, they are safe. And this is such a good story so far. Gods have mercy on those who would Hey, it's Portier. So there's four dukes of the city, with the Grand Duke being the the head of them. And the Grand Duke is now Gortash. Ravenguard was the Grand Duke before. Let's bring my party over here. Let's have a chat with Will out of the way. Your parasite binds your mind to Will's. Your memories of talking with Ravenguard become his. You spoke with my father. Incredible. 
to hear his voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Uh, you spoke to your father, Will. Okay, let's take a look at Will's quest now. Grand Duke Ravengar was infected. He's being transported to Baldur's Gate along with an enormous Elder Brain. Oh, that's not what I wanted to click on. The ceremony is over. We should return to Mizora. So now we have to go find Mizora for Will's quest. Nothing progressed with Karlak's quest for now. Karlak clearly wants to kill Gortash, but we convinced her that now is not the time. Okay. Check this out a little bit. Oh, we're not supposed to go in there. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, Mizora's back on the bridge. I wonder if we should quickly talk to Gortat. No, we don't got to talk to Gortash again. I'm gonna hide Karlak's helm. It's more enjoyable in the cutscenes without the helm on. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. No, I never did. My ritual spells. Come here, Carlac. Seriously? Come on. Stay right there. <laughs> That's annoying. And there's Mazora. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mazora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see. Gortash has had your father relocated. Relocated? What are you playing at, devil? Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think. There's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Oh no. First we had Orin at our camp, now we have Mazora hanging out there. I have a lot on my mind. Um, of course she'd well. stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Where's Gortash taking your father, do you think? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. Okay, Raven Guard's already gone. Might as well just push on with this, so let's go right to camp. How farther can I go? We're at the other camp because we were at Worms Crossing. Do we see Mizora anywhere is the question. Would she hang out next to Will? <laughs> well met. 
wonder if we have to go to bed to find Mazora. Hey, it's Minsk! Kicking butt for goodness. Let's try a partial rest. I so just didn't see our Karlak, Minsk, Wolf, Will, Shadowheart. We fly the camera around over here real fast. There's Tahira. Stables. Oh, there's... Nope, that's Withers. Shadow Hearts. Okay. Take a partial rest. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. Interesting. I don't recall sending out invitations to the Sisters of Justice. You do not call upon the Sisters. They come when the Hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood. Forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. We're going to remain silent. Yet no contract is ended without sacrifice, Will. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. This is tough, because this is my character. Giving advice to Will. But I could never possibly be able to understand Will's perspective on this. Not in a million years. What would I say to Will? What would my character say to Will in this moment? Hmm. 
break the pact, Will. You deserve your freedom. You damned wretch! Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. And don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Oh, I was hoping that Will would fight back a little. Give me a reason to persuade him to do something. That's tough, man. There's no easy choice right there. I mean, basically, if, if Will saves his father, if I was in Will's position, I would probably give up my soul to Zariel to save my father and then try to figure it out from there. I mean, Karlak escaped Zariel, but... As Will's friend, knowing that his father kicked him out, didn't treat him that right. And I care more about Will. I feel like I told him the right thing. Who cares? It's a video game. Alright, so Will's quest now says, Mazora gave Will a choice. He could agree to an eternal pact with her and Zariel. She would reveal where his father's been taken and ensure his safe return. Or he could break his pact with Mazora, dooming his father to die in Gortash's secret command center. Will broke the pact, choosing his freedom over his father's life. Something tells me that's going to haunt Will. Will severed his pact with Mizora, even after she hinted that she could help locate and rescue Grand Duke Ravengard. It would seem the Duke is as good as dead, but perhaps we might still find and save him, so there's still a little bit of hope. We're going to go with that. Alright, let's go have a quick chat with Will. I'm sure he has something to, something to say. Mizora's just chilling with him right now. Gods. I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. And never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. I thought you never regretted taking the pact. I didn't. I don't. My sacrifice kept Baldur's Gate safe from Tiamat's rage. But that doesn't mean that the leash never chafed. That I was content to lap up whatever nonsense Mizora fed me. The leash has been broken and my father left for dead. Tomorrow I celebrate my gain. But today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. boy, Will. But your father's not dead yet. Maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. What's our next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city from the brain. Okay. If Will's father was a bit nicer to him. <laughs> it would have made persuading him to save his father a little bit easier. But then again, he would have had to give his life up. There's just no easy decision when you make packs with devils. That's the lesson that comes out of this. Never trust a devil. Alright, so now we have to figure out what's next. The first hour of this episode has been nothing but cinematics, and it's been very enjoyable. But this will be a nice natural break point for this episode, so I'll see you all in a few.
All right, let's press on. I think some of you probably are now understanding what the next part of this episode is going to be. And that is going to be Astarion's quest. I have leveled him up to level 10. And I grabbed the alert feat at level 10. We get a plus 5 to our initiative and we can't be surprised. My gear with Astarion is really, really bad. Haven't been running with him pretty much at all on this run. Still in my camp. I've kept him around. Haven't killed him. But yeah, we got really bad gear. But I'm okay with it. I wish I had a longbow, though. I don't think I have a longbow in my camp somewhere. And I'm going to keep Karlak in my group as well for this particular part for Astarion's quest. And then after that, we're going to switch to Jahira and Minsk. Man, it's just so hard only having four party members. It's really, really hard because I want Gale and Shadowheart at all times. Let's just stick with this party comp and then we'll figure... We'll deal with the other problems later on. All right, we're going to take a partial rest and we're going to head to the Tsar mansion. Should be interesting. Get to take a little stride through the lower city again. Let's go to lower city central wall. This should be an interesting quest. Kazador Zar, the undead vampire lord of the district of Tumbledown. I'm also very interested in Astarion's story. This doesn't quite fit my party on this particular run. On my other character, I am running with Astarion as one of my main companions. All right, let's start off with a little see what this is. My new ability. Hide in plain sight. It's pretty cool. And then it goes away when you move. Let's go ahead and start off by casting Long Strider. Perfect. And we'll also do... Shield of Faith, Shadow. Don't really have to do anything with the Barbarian. It's been a while since we've had Karlak in the group. Got her using Ketherick's Warhammer right now. She doesn't have the best gear either. Okay, we're right outside of Sorceress Sundries. Yeah, I think after we finish Astarion's quest, I'm going to bring Gal back into the group and we're going to explore Sorceress Sundries because I am so hyped to go in there. I don't want to ruin it right now, though. I want to go with Gal. All right, so we have to go to find the Tsar Palace. We have to head north. North is that way. Given your own nature, are you really the one to judge? <laughs> Everybody's running from Fern. All right, Astarion, you ready for this, my man? A group of vampire spawn attacked us during the night, so that happened last episode. They tried to kidnap Astarion and take him back to Kazador, but failed. Astarion will need to face Kazador if he's ever to be safe from his past. I'm assuming that we go in, or maybe we go to Bloomridge Park. I don't know what building this is. Let's let's check it out real fast. The Devil's Fee. Look at this place. Holy crap. A monster's skull? <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought she was going to come out and try to stab Fern. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee. 
where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. Oh no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. <laughs> a most excellent decision. Okay, let's see what you got. Bunch of dyes. Arsonist oil. Doesn't really have too much. Not much at all. I could buy up the healing potions. I'm pretty poor right now. I'll have to spend some time at a vendor. After. Coin and time, most for. An interesting place, that's for sure. Someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarian. A sweetheart, perhaps? No sweethearts, no. I prefer them savory. This is what I get for trying to strike up conversation. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy that we are going around to Bloomridge Park because Casador Zar's mansion is in the Tumbledown district, which is in the outer city of the of Baldur's Gate. So it's outside of the city walls. And for a minute, I thought they put it near the Devil's Fee right there, and Larian changed up the lore a little bit, but it doesn't seem like they did, so. Wow, look at this. Can we talk to these animals? It look like we can. Whoa! What is she doing? There's more right here too. Reaper of Ball. Oh no. These are Ball assassins. I wonder if they're waiting for me. It's only been a month, Wendell. Of course you remember our first date. Harlack doesn't do oh, ball assassins. Essence. Damn it! I didn't expect the vision cone to be that close. Oh man, I wanted to shove that person off. And yeah, the good thing is... Oh, look at Fern. Come on, girl. Mason turns up for work. Mason. What's this creature doing here? Fern walks with grace. Didn't expect that to put her in combat, but okay. Put him up. All right, it's only Karlak in combat right now. Let's go ahead and start off with rage. We have great weapon master now, so man, it feels good to have a barbarian back. Holy crap. Alright, increase armor class. So if we go into passives, we can toggle on and off great weapon master. So right now we have a 65% chance of landing our attack with great weapon master on. That is crazy. That is so good. And if we do reckless attack, 88% chance with great weapon master. Damn, man. That is so good. Look at that. Keep out of this, Captain. Do not forget whom you serve. What the heck just happened? Of course. I just thought you might need assistance. I... You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. The fist has a tadpole. Something's off. Not I. We. And we. Do not. Serve. Defective. Very well. Another offering to Baal. Oh man, okay. Now. 
Well, this is a Starion, so we're RPing a Starion. He'll absolutely use his Alithid powers. Use your Parasite to explore her thoughts. Entering her mind is like stepping aboard a sinking ship. The architecture of her consciousness buckles and collapses. Thoughts yield to a flood of overwhelming power. The Elder Brain. Do not waste time! This mind cannot bear us. It turns to liquid. Listen, just listen. We learn, we grow. Loosen our clumsy bindings. Aid us, necromancer, dead. Changeling and tyrant remain at odds. Kill them. You have a place in my grand design. Uh -huh. What? What happened? Do I taste Elder Brain was speaking to Astarion right there. We have a place in the Elder Brain's grand design. Okay. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Bloody hells! Who were that lot? And the captain! She's dead! Okay. Let's get everybody together. I don't think I even took any... I took a little bit of damage with Astarion. A little bit of jump damage. Oh, now we know Bloom Ridge Park isn't safe. Hey, we got a Mind Flare Parasite. Arrested for theft. What? If you have a defense, make it now. Oh, man. There was a Flaming Fist Soldier. Perhaps some gold would make up for my little indiscretion. It may have been unwise to reveal just how much gold you have on your person. Damn it. I don't want to go to prison. Oh, no. Oh, this just puts a dent in our plans. What are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. Shut up, Mr. Emperor. Is everybody in their own cell right now? Oh, it's only my character that went to prison. <laughs> oh, man. Me and Fern. Okay. Well, it wouldn't be a proper Wolfheart playthrough if I didn't end up in jail at some point. Go ahead and start off with Speak with Animals. I think we have a hole right here. Hold on, let's see if I can do a perception check, maybe. Nice. What's up, buddy? He came running in here because of my wolf. You all right? You can... This guard would prefer you serve your time in silent contemplation. I mean, you just opened the door for me. Am I allowed to just... Uh... Your escape attempt has been spotted. <laughs> this might be a good time to return to your cell. That was worth a try. Oh my god, 2,700 gold. Well, we might be able to tr talk our way out of this? Sure. Um, it doesn't really matter what we do here. I've been pardoned. The order came straight from the top. 15, we got this. First try. Easy. Okay. You tried your best, but hear the unmistakable sound of your cell calling. Ah, oh, okay. All right. A new client? What a thrill. For you? Laterally. <laughs> Some call me the Great Collector. Others, the Merchant of Mysteries. But you, my friend, you can call me Skittle. Step up and marvel at the spectacular wonders on offer. What sort of items does the Great Collector collect? Oh, artifacts most priceless. Should one call a prison his home? The prison's pipes are a veritable maze of cracks and crannies. What a rat finds, a rat keeps. The captives have wants and needs. It is my pleasure, nay, my duty, hmm. to fulfill them. Smuggler. 
Let me have a look at your stock. Mercantile rodent, how radical. Indeed, my mirthful mate. Care to take a squeak at my fan rapstical wares? <laughs> is this business ratified by the local merchants league? My enterprise is a more covert sort. I do my dealings in squeakret. <laughs> What's for sale? I'd like to take a squeak. Universal resistance, dimension door. Ooh, that's actually, ooh, oh man. Selling some really interesting stuff here. Counting house safe key to, wow, to one of the vaults. Back at the counting house where we rescued Minsk. Well, we rescued Minsk from the sewers, but initially he was at the counting house. I only have 10. While I'm in prison, I can't buy anything. 163. <laughs> okay. Is that all? That's quite hilarious that there's a rat merchant. Man, if I had that invisibility scroll. Yeah, these guys are all freaking out because of my wolf right now. I'm way too big. Oh god, the Steel Watcher guy's in here now, too. <laughs> Larian's definitely gotta fix the wolf thing a little bit. I understand that it might not be a bug, because it's a dire wolf and it would scare citizens. Even though I think it would be okay to let that slide. Animal forms like the wolf should be fine, in my opinion. But, like, now I'm in prison. Like, these guys shouldn't be scared of the wolf. Let's go ahead and just dismiss Fern. What happens if I send Fern out? Oh my god, I might be able to use Fern as... Hold on. I might be able to use Fern to my advantage here. Oh! Your escape has been cut short. Choose your next move wisely. Okay, back to ourself. All right. All right. I'm going to dismiss Fern. She's messing this up right now. All the guards are coming in. Looks like we have a wall right here. Sturdy. Okay, at least 10 damage. I can do that. My fists. <laughs> what are you supposed to do in prison? I just serve my sin. your captor's property is one way to get oh, yourself great. in trouble. Now would be a good oh, time to great. explain yourself. I'm already in prison. All right, let's think here. Put on our D&D &D thinking cap. We have some boxes right here. Can't climb on those. Okay, well, hold on. First thing we should do is probably turn off the torch here. Let's darken it up a little bit. And we're going to take this box, put it down. <laughs> this is not really adequate sell. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is you. Okay, so he's watching me. He is watching me a little bit. Okay, here we go. Path is interrupted. Dude, stop looking at me. Okay. Go ahead and hit F5. First time in prison. These look like the trunks where our gear is probably being kept. Now, I could get my other companions and have them report to the prison. It's in Heapside. It says Heapside Prison. We're in the Heapside District. And have them help me get out. I wonder if I can just fast travel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worth a try. 
Okay, I got an idea. It's quite fun though, trying to figure this out. I think we're good. Nobody's looking over here. Whoa. Oh, wow. What the heck? <laughs> How was I supposed to? Wait, but it was going to let me jump over. Your escape attempt has been. You got to be kidding me. This might be a good time to return to your cell. Try a deception check again. Whoa! You prove hard to argue with. You're free to go. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I enjoyed that. I very much enjoyed that. I think we had something going there with the boxes, even though the guards were kind of glitched out a little bit. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay, we're out of here. We could probably go out the other way, but now I'm curious here. What happens if we go into the train? <laughs> oh my god. This is too funny. We're in the sewers right now. We can fast travel again. That door is locked right there. Is wanting me to do his quest right now. My old owl. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. The Emperor's old home. Those of you guys that missed the previous episode, the Emperor used to be... I think a human? This actually might have been his home when he was a Mind Flayer. Mind Flayer in disguise. Visit the Emperor's old hideout. The Emperor asked us to check its old hideout in the Elf Song Tavern. Some of its old items may be of use to us. Okay, I'm going to teleport out. Because I want to do that quest with my entire party. I think we should focus on Astarion's quest right now. A little unexpected trip to prison there. All right, hey guys, thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Oh, you guys are just standing around. That's nice. Okay. All right, yeah. Don't worry, I took care of it. Okay, let's head out. What is this right here? One of the guys we killed. Seen 
We have a murder target right here. from the gate we are not ready we should heed the emperor's warning passing the gate could be the death of us okay you know what I'm gonna trust them in that single file please and no groups Not quite sure how we're gonna get to Cazador's mansion. I guess we could go north at the graveyard right here. About what? Feel what exactly? About not living in the Let's go ahead and travel back to the lower city central wall. We're gonna head back up north towards the Devil's Fee. This way to the north. Okay, we've made it to a graveyard. It's not this is not the tumble down graveyard though. Grand Mausoleum. Fingers Keen, the leader of the guild. Oh, look at this. We're near Candle Hollow's tombstones. Candle Hollow's tombstones. Remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. If I remember correctly, the Candle Hollow family are a family of moon elves. And they basically offer the city's burial services. Let's go inside. Oh, no, we can't get in right now. They're also known to work with necromancers and give bodies away. <laughs> and there's the Elf Song Tavern. Still, we're definitely going to be going in there. I'm still just trying to hold off, though, for the time being. Okay, so I cut the video and I did some camera panning in the area and I think I found where we actually have to go. This is quite confusing getting to the Tsar Palace. But I think the entrance is actually right here on top of the wall. I never would have expected that. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys how we get there. So the wall is right up here. And we have a door called the Tsar Palace South Tower, so I would imagine that that's how we get to Astarion's quest. I could be wrong, though. Away with you, this soldier. Gosh, man, this is amazing. All right, so we're going to be going in that door, but let me just check down here because I see a chest. And I'm going to leave Fern out right now because we are heading into dangerous territory here. Oh my God, look at this view. 
we still have so much left to explore in the city. After I finish Astarion's quest and maybe another companion quest, I think I'm just gonna you know, do some do some more walking around and just admiring of the city. It's like I don't want to rush into the Elf Song Tavern and talk to every NPC right now because I want to feel like I'm ready for it and I can take the time to enjoy it. And right now I have some of the companion quests on my mind. So happy that I have most of the companions with me to do their quests. And I, I did that without you. even safe scumming. Security shouldn't be too tight. A few charm innocents, maybe. Starion said he could scout ahead? Okay. Sure thing, brother. Don't linger. Vial of blood in a rib cage. Well, that can't be good. Oh, ma oh, man. Master Astarian. But the time is almost here. You should be at the ritual. Hurry. The palace is being sealed. You must not be late. You must not anger the master. What ritual are you talking about? It is the Ascension. The Master expects all his children to attend. You must not be late. The Ascension? Wow. Okay. It's time! The Ascension is here! I wonder if I can bring my party up here, if they're not allowed up here. Hey, we got a rat right here. <laughs> Definitely got to chat with him. Go a little bit further ahead with a Starion. Whoa! Oh, and there's the bell tower with a chest on that. I remember seeing that in one of the gameplay trailers. Incredible. We have a key right here. Sure, we'll take it. I don't think anybody's around here. Servant etiquette. Memorize these rules and do not fail to follow them. Do your job silently. Do not speak unless spoken to. The master likes it quiet. If you are not busy, find something to do and look busy. The master likes diligence. If you encounter the master, stand still and cast down your eyes with <laughs> deference. Deference. The master likes to be respected. No whistling. Chamberlain Dufay. Okay. One step at a time. All right, I think I'm gonna try to bring my party up right now. Oh, I just don't know if it's a good idea. Starion said he wants to scout ahead, but he did make friends with those vampire spawn in the beginning. Let's go ahead. We're gonna send up. We'll test it out. I'll send up Wolf by himself. And we're gonna bring everybody else back here. And if I have to flee, then I can flee. And we'll let Astarion do his thing, and then try to back him up somehow. Wonder if the gods are watching me. There goes nothing. Okay, looks like we're good. Another guest. Yes, yes. More bones to chew. More bodies to nibble. <laughs> Can't afford to stay okay. idle. In this way. Come on, Mr. Bear. That's a good boy. Okay. Watch your back. Everybody should be coming up now. And here they come. So, the Starian. Vampire dens. What should I expect? Vampires would be a safe bet. 
hilarious. You belong on the stage. Well, Perhaps the blood that's stained sword working. with a hooded man standing by, axe in hand. Wow. We entered Cazador's palace. We should look around for clues. Keep the gang together now. I love gothic settings. The master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. Okay. Can't fast travel out of here. Door is closed with arcane lock. Master Astarian, what are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? The doors have already been sealed. The ritual oh. is about to begin. What are you talking about? How can you not know? It's the master's ascension. Tonight he is reborn even more perfect than before, and his blessings will rain down upon us. All his children were to attend. Your brothers and sisters are there already. He'll be furious you didn't make it. Oh, man. Okay. So unseal the doors and let me in. It's too late. Godi has sealed the doors and will not open them until the ritual is complete. You remember the ill-tempered skeleton Godi, though you may wish to forget him. Officially, he was keeper of the palace's kennels, but you knew him as Cazador's muscle, beating you when the master didn't want to do it himself. Oh, the master will be so angry with you. He will do such terrible, terrible things to you. I'm wasting time talking to a damned man. There is too much to do. Too much to prepare. Okay. The door to Cazador's ballroom, where he hosted his most hedonistic nights. You've never seen it closed, let alone locked before. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small, round hollow engraved with the Sire family crest. Okay, let's try to decipher the text on the door. Oh, damn. No, well, it's not impossible. <laughs> I guess it is. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. Okay, examine the hollow in the door. Awesome. Game easier. The indentation seems to be the right size and shape to fit a signet ring bearing the family crest. Only a few people wear such a ring. Cazador and Godi, your old kennel master. Okay, I guess we gotta find Godi. A bear. an eye out for anything we can find here. The ballroom door. 
Kazakura dictionary we use to train new servants on how to operate the ballroom door has gone missing, and my signet ring alone won't do the job. Please have the servants sort this out. It shouldn't be my problem to solve. The servants and I are thoroughly busy preparing for the master's celebration. Get your bones out of the kennel. Search every chamber on the vampire spawn level and quickly find that book. So we gotta find a book and also a signet ring now? Okay. Ooh, these look like nice robes. I'm gonna pick them up. Let our search continue. Man, the Chamberlain. Diary of Antoine Dufay, Chamberlain of Cazador's Palace. I know enough about what the Master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing brat, Astarian. Even if Cazador finds my body, the potion Bone Cloaks sold me as promised to provide a convincing illusion of death, especially since I'll leave behind a look-alike potion of acid poison. My one regret is dear Luriana. I simply cannot trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Cazador will have ascended and will have need of my services. Or he will be no more, and Master of the Palace will fall to me. Oh. Radiant Resistance Elixir, nice. Pick up that book. I like to pick up the books and read them on my own time. What to do? Oh crap! Can't risk being in open view. Um, bear, chase this guy away. Ah! Just curious to see <laughs> what that if this would work. Obviously, according to that book, it wouldn't, but... Okay, let's press on. Open. Damn, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Keep a blade close. Well, this is new. That door wasn't covered with weird magical energy before. The woman's eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's got to be right for the master. Everything's got to be perfect. Okay. Dark energy envelops this door. It's cursed. Hmm. Okay. No time to waste. Let's see what I have here. Let me check my spells. And there it is right there. Remove curse. Go ahead and pick that up. See if this works. Forgot what it looks like. Okay. Very nice. Whoa. Three to twenty-four damage per turn. First energy drains vitality of anyone who dares get to get closer. Let's see if we can do another remove curse. I 
I love making use of some of these spells that I really haven't used much up to this point. Victoria, remember to read that ancient language book. You'll need to know some of the vocabulary to be able to move freely within the palace. Ah, the bedrooms. Never once slept. This is where I took our guests. I'd entertain them here until Casador appeared and took them away. No one ever died here, though. Something strange happened to that girl. I'm out of grit. 50% hit points or less, they have an additional bonus action. Sure, since I don't have any gear on Karlak or... That gives her constitution saving throws plus one. Give her the helmet of grit. And I'll give Astaria on the constitution saving throws plus one. Oh, that's medium armor, actually. Never mind. We'll leave that on Karlak. We'll give Astaria on... The Helmet of Grit. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like he's in Blink-182. We're gonna hide Helm. Snakeskin hat. Oh, look at that! It was a current dictionary. A good thing I'm searching everything in this place. Book is a dictionary, the ancient Koza Curran language from the distant land of Karatur, different continent on Faerun. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined open, enter, beware, forbidden. Koza Curran? I've seen this around somewhere. <laughs> we were always forbidden from studying it. Okay, now we just gotta find a ring, I think. Wow, look at the paintings in here. Is that the Blood War? What's going on here? It is. Oh my gosh, it's... Wow. That's the Archdevil, Zariel. We used to be an angel, a celestial. Who is now in service to Asmodeus, the leader of the Nine Hells. She is fighting demons in the Blood War in Avernus. I wonder if Karlak says anything about... Let's bring Karlak in, because Karlak served Zariel for a while. Against her wishes. Nope, she doesn't say anything. That's incredible. I want that painting right there. And you can see devils fighting demons. Blood war. So cool. Can't wait to do a lore run. Okay, let's go over here. Behold! One of Cazador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary room. Behind it is the Ken. A fetid little cell he throws into when displeased. So, so, you've come home, <laughs> little one. And come to visit Goldie in your old kennel. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Goldie, child. I only did my job only kept you in line you tortured us for days at a time oh yes and you sang so sweetly for me none of the others screamed like you did but you're home now and you brought me a treat eh? <laughs> a new friend for Godi. Deception, intimidation, or attack. Let's try intimidation. Lay a hand on me and lose it, bones. Nice. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Godi? We're here to see the master, but the ballroom door's locked. Uh, give us the key. <laughs> no, 
No, it is too late. The doors are sealed on Master's orders. Godi will not open them for anyone, much less for you. <laughs> okay, let's try intimidation again. How about I start breaking bones? Keep going until I find that key. 17. Oh my gosh, I got a 20 and then a 1. That is crazy. Oh no. No, no, no. Godi is not worried by your threats. Godi has seen so much worse than you. Oh, oh. things have changed, Godi. We might surprise you. I doubt it, little one. Come. Let's hear you scream one last time. Let's go. Let's go. Where the heck is he? Oh, he's over here. Come here, goaty. Oh, this is going to be an easy one unless he starts summoning creatures. I don't even think I'm going to need to... You know what? We'll use rage. I'm not going to need three rage charges here, I don't think. Don't give me the thorns. Nice. 44% chance. Wow. With reckless attack and great weapon master toggled on. If we toggle that off, it goes up to 75% chance. Let's do it once with great weapon on with reckless attack. And then we're going to turn it off. Okay. So now... Oh, it's still 44%. Oh, because we have advantage right now. Weapon enchantment. Great weapon master. There we go. See, when I turn great weapon master off, it goes to 75%. You take damage or fail saving throw, you trigger another wild magic effect. Sure. That's awesome. We got that recently. I think I'm level 10. With the Barbarian? Yeah, this guy's basically dead. I don't even want to waste a spell slot. Got plenty of spell slots with my Ranger, though. That's for sure. Oh, no! I have my torch out. It costs an action to switch. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna take, uh... A crossbow shot at 16%. I'll just switch weapons. There we go. Yeah, it costs an action. Oh, come on, Astarion. Turn Great Weapon Master back on. Okay, this guy should have the signet ring on his body, I'm assuming. Surgery kit, knife. This is pretty cool so far. Eat to the kennel, okay. And the Tsar family ring. Those words engraved on the ring. They're Kozakura. The same as in that dictionary. We found a ring with inscriptions in an ancient language. We should hold on to it and may prove useful. We found a dictionary. Same language that's on the sealed ballroom door. We're locked in here right now? What the heck, man? Looking ahead. The Cazador is above us right now. Might as well search the rest of the palace real fast. I must be busy. Busy, busy. Shut up. Spawn dormitory. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick. What was that check that we just did? But not for long. Frightened from something. Fresh meat, then. 
so cool to be experiencing Astarion's prior life. This is the favored spawns room. Okay, I think we're good to go back up to the door. Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome. <laughs> Shadowheart. What are you frightened from? Okay, back up we go. I'm hit F5. I can remember my way around this place. Um, yeah, it was this way. Here we go. Okay. O-E-B-F-S. O-E-B-F-S. The door remains sealed. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakur script from the dictionary you found. Press the Tsar signet ring against the hollow and read the door's inscription aloud. Okay, I guess I don't have to remember it. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. Oh, man. Oh, wow. What the heck? Stupid rats. Always talking here. Always jittering. What are you meet, but, but not master alive. says no. Tonight, he changes. Promises we'll have fresh meat then. Oh. Let's get going. I think we're gonna I just I we're gonna walk in because I wanna see if we get a cool cutscene. Here we go. Run away, spawn. The master's scent is all over you. We bring you to him. We get his favor. What the heck? I'm so confused right now. And werewolves. Okay, Let's see what we'll do here for our first move. I got an idea. Back up a little bit. We're gonna throw a grease. On the hunt. Oh, Shadowheart's in the battle now. Damn it, I was trying to get Wolf out of the way. Carlac's still not in, though. Nor is my bear. Okay, my bear's in now. All right, well, everybody's in. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Look at all the rats. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Spirit Guardians was a good play, though. Yes, it was. Okay, Carlac's turn. Only got one HP. I don't think I want to waste an action on that. Let's just take the opportunity to attack and come over here. I'll rage first. Oh, damn. This guy's coming at us, too. You know what? Maybe we'll just kill him real fast. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Turn on Great Weapon Master. Nice. See ya. 
And then we're going to run back in here. Got to get as close to that werewolf as we can. No! I can't reach. Okay, we'll just kill the damn bat then. Man, I'm frightened right now, so I can't use my shadow teleport. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Okay, let's do. Guardian of Faith. And also. Spiritual weapon. We have a lot more, a lot more monsters coming here. We'll put spiritual weapon right here. Perfect. God, clerics are so good. It's crazy. Man, these werewolves are quite smart, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, 33, 32, we'll focus on this guy. Shadow, let's see if you can... Can you shadow teleport now? Yes, you can. So let's move you to right here. Damn, that's so good. Then I'll move you up just a little bit. If I can do it without taking an opportunity attack, doesn't look like I can. Okay, I guess we'll just hold our ground. See ya. See ya. Barbarians and clerics. We want a different magical effect. What do we have right now? Nice. All right, all nearby creatures gain temporary hit points. Come on, Mr. Bear. All right, Wolf, it's your turn. Let's see, are we able to go in now? It looks like we are. Most of these creatures are dead, so I'm not worried about holding the choke point anymore. Let's move to right here. You know what, we should just focus on one at a time. Oh, well, what did I just do? There we go. Awesome. Blood Fang. Aw, oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, Shadow, let's get you up here and do what you do best. <laughs> That's what Shadow does best right there. Oh man, that was funny. All 
My bear is just getting here right now. Sneak attack doesn't matter. Okay. Don't slip, Astarion. Hit F5. Actually, I should make an actual save point. I think we're going to be uh, seeing Kazador here shortly. Yeah, there's a flute up here. Oh, there's freaking instruments everywhere. Casador. I've got a long road ahead. Okay, well, we haven't been in here yet. We just finished looting. Over here first. Yeah, I think we're good. Got another door up here too. Like one, not a real door. Music really puts you in the mood. The an- oh, Almost read that wrong. Regulated blood. Okay, I guess we're taking this elevator. Or whatever the heck it is. We need to deal with the werewolves if we want to delve further into the palace. Okay, werewolves are all dealt with. You stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years. But it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Casador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Descend into the depths of the palace. Cazador's dungeon. We got a waypoint too. No one stopped me yet. We stood on a platform that took us deep below the palace into Cazador's dungeon. How big is this place? What in the hells? I never knew any of this was here. Entombing Clot. This door is impassable to anyone without the correct ring of passage. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Press the Tsar signet ring with a hollow in the door. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Okay. Very well, then. Just 
like the door to the ballroom upstairs. This door features no key. The ring slots perfectly into place. I don't know if I trust this. Something's not right here. Look at these cages. Oh, wow. If I had Gale with me, we could feather fall down there. Let's go check out. I'm gonna send Wolf ahead right here. Despite everything. I'm gonna send the bear ahead. structure of Baldur's Gate. Kazador's thoughts and concerns about the power structure of Baldur's Gate. Kazador worries about the guild revolve around the rise of the brash new criminal kingpin known as the Stone Man and what it might mean for the gate's underworld if Nine Fingers is replaced. Meanwhile, the upstart Gortash is fielding prototypes of his steel watchers in city streets. Are they capable enough to detect and damage Kazador's Vampire spawn. Guilds, nobles, politicians. If he controlled even a fraction of these, the city could be his, and no one would ever know. He recorded thousands of names. Were they his victims or something else in time? On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. All right, let's let them wash over us. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Wisdom check. Concentrate on the memory. What is Velioth's first lesson? Velioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. All right, another wisdom check. What is Velian's Valioth's second lesson? You were distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Valioth's lesson. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered eleven years of impalement because he failed. Okay, let's do another wisdom check. What is Velioth's third lesson? Damn it. You let the shock of impalement allow your focus to waver, and Velioth's words drift away, lost in the mists of time. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. <laughs> the skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. 
Felioth is no more. What's that, Staria? Unfurling the scroll reveals a list of foul rites and rituals, detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage. The rite of perfect slaughter. The rite of profane ascension will release you. Walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger. Grow your power beyond anything you imagine. A pact has been made with the Lord of Hellfire. Deliver unto him 7,000 souls, each bearing an infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. We found a scroll describing the ritual Kazador wants to perform. He plans to sacrifice thousands of souls, including Astarions, to ascend and gain incredible power. If we take a look at Astarion's character, we take off his, um, his shirt here. Look at his back. And see, we have infernal writing. Okay. On my way. Can't wait to see what Cazador looks like. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Is this how you used to live, Astarion? <laughs> Hardly. Cazador didn't keep me in luxury, but I've never seen anything like this. How did they get here? What is Cazador doing with them? My brethren spoke nothing of this. You... I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. <laughs> dirt and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. Look at the symbols. They all have scars. So Kazadu marked them too. Bound us all to his ritual. Gods. I know so many of these faces. They're my... conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? been down here they let a starry on answer 170 years you were one of my first my family my friends <laughs> they're gone you took them 
from me. You took everything from me. Well, to be fair, Starian didn't have a choice. We need to go. Now. There's no escape. No escape for us. And no escape for you, Astarian. Arlac disapproves. never ends and it's your fault. You did this, damn you. I damn you to the hells. I damn you to misery! I damn you! Man, who would have thought a Starion story was going to get so deep? Sometimes the audio for the voices in this game gets really low. I don't know why it does that. I have my voice volume turned all the way up. Not my voice, the characters in game. If what you've told me is true, Astarion, that's a colossal sum of souls. There's only one reason they'd all still be here. He must need them for the ritual. Each of the seven, we, we must have brought in a thousand over the decades. They're all lambs for his slaughter. And if I was to take his place, they'd all die by my hand. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky, it doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. <laughs> What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. They will be ravenous. They must die. Better they serve a purpose. There's still hope for them. You got out, you got better. They're in a state far beyond anything that ever happened to me. Decades of hatred will have piled up inside of them. I, I can't even begin to imagine. We must find Kazador. This must end. Okay. Uh, I'm not opening up those doors, that's for sure. <laughs> wow. I wonder if I should jump some of my party members down to that ledge that was over in the back area. The previous room. Because they'll probably come out like right here. But you know what? Just come right down the stairs. We'll lead with a Starion. Where's my bear? Come here, buddy. Animal companions are really bad at following, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe I unchained him. about this place I know we shouldn't let down our guard but I feel like I could drift off and never wake up huh? quick step oh man 
Oh, wow. Send a Starion down with my character. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I'm wondering if we should. I don't know what this is going to turn into. Hazador Zar. Two hundred and eight HP, resistant to physical damage and necrotic damage. Has the alert feat, just like Astarion does. To abandon me, to abandon his family. Before I walk up any further, let me take a short rest. Better than nothing. I think it might be time to make use of the daylight spell. I think for the first time on this run, as we're facing undead vampires. Probably going to be facing undead vampires. I'm going to pick that up. Let's also get rid of create water maybe grab revivify okay I think we're looking pretty good there what if I should use that you know what let's go ahead and try it out hide in plain sight let's see if that let's see what that does in a cutscene Help didn't do Who anything. Stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Casador. Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. We're gonna keep back and not intervene. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No. No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me. We'll let Astarion handle this. I suspected you would return to me changed. Never did I imagine you would be so wretched. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. <laughs> But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. What if we could just shoot him with a guiding bolt right now? Oh. Oh, no. no. Should I try it? Stop him! Get me out of this! <laughs> Let's give it a try. Uh oh, what's going on? Oh no. Um. Okay. Forty-eight damage. 
Holy crap, that was half my HP. Okay, hold on. We got an update on the quest here. We found Kazador Zar. He plans to perform a rite that will grant him immense power. He must be stopped. And there's our boy Astarion. That's not good. Oops. What the heck's going on here? Oh, there we go. Well, how do we stop this damn thing? Something coming out of the sarcophagus. All right, here we go. Let's start off with, you know what I should do? Should have done this before. Arcane. Yeah, there we go. We'll drink that. That'll give us a spell slot back. And then I should probably maybe back up. Okay, where's Kazador? Kazador is right here. There's a lot of ads here. I'm gonna go right after Kazador. I have like no HP right now though. Hold on, let's see if we have healing. Potion of superior healing. Okay. Come here, Mr. Kazador. Not sure if we can even hit that bloody mist. But let's give it a try. We can. Very little damage. Nice! Okay, we still have Karlak too. Wonder if I could sneak her down right now. Let's see what our vision cones... Oh, we can! Maybe? Let's see if we have any nice potions here. See what we got. These are our arrows and our potions. Necrotic resistance, potion of invisibility. Oh, that would actually be nice. I think we can probably just walk right in now. Let me give it a try. Sweet. And then we can do reckless attack. We already have advantage. 36% chance? Really? 70% chance. 36. Okay. Here we go. This guy is resistant to physical damage. This is going to be tough. Be like a magical weapon. All right, Mr. Bear, help us out, buddy. Help us out. Get right up in there. Wonder if I can do anything with a star yet. If I can, like, no, I don't think I can. Immune to slashing damage. All right, we need it to be Shadowheart's turn. I gotta try that Daylight Orb. Can you feel its profane power? Well, oh yeah. But I still have Triple opportunity attack. Whoa, that's not good. Okay. All right, hold on. Let's check Kazador again. Sunlight hypersensitivity. This creature takes 20 radiant damage, but starts its turn in sunlight. While sunlit, it has disadvantage in attack rolls and ability checks. Should have started off with that. All right, we'll do a sphere. And see if I can move her. 
Oh man, there's gonna be so many creatures coming down right now. We want to cover as much of the map as we can. How about that? Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, Shadow still got full HP. Um, we're not concentrating on anything. I think I probably want to use Spirit Guardians, but... Let's go. Spiritual Weapon's gonna use up... Damn. Oh, man. Don't know if it's worth using a healing word at the moment. Not enough HP. Okay, I'm gonna do spiritual weapon. And we'll put it right over here. These are fallen Gur hunters. These are the monster hunters that we talked to back in the Rivington district. The Gurs, vampire hunters. Oh man, this is not, this is crazy. Okay, let's, um, oh my god, I wonder if I can push, oh, let me try, hold on, push is a bonus action, would be an opportunity attack, let me come over here, I don't mind it, oh my god, 100%, there's no way that I would, that would be the end of Cazador's R. There's no way. I'm doing it. Whoa! What just happened? I don't see him in the order of turns anymore. Okay, well, we got other problems to deal with at the moment. So let's, um... Let's go kill some werewolves, I guess. Holy crap. Oh, you know what I can do? I don't even know if that's worth it right now. All right, let's go help out Shadowheart. Seems like she needs her help the most. That'll be one opportunity attack to run through there. I think I'm good with that. Uh, Critical hit. Oh man, I left myself out a little bit too far away. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's do, might as well do this now. All right, Karlak, we got you raging right now. I think we're all gonna stick together now. I'm gonna jump her over here. It's one opportunity attack and I'm fine with that. Probably should stay out of that mist, whatever that is. Damn, Karlak, you're low on HP yet. Damn it. I'm gonna take a superior health potion with her. Oh, you can just drink it out of other characters' inventories. Thank God I have those potions, or I made those potions. All right, and then that leaves us... I feel like it's not worth using an action on these freaking bats, man. It's not worth it. Perfect. All right, here we go. Let's kick some ass now. Great Weapon Master on. 88% chance. Are you kidding me? Oh, 
Oh man, I think I just saw nudity. I have the filter on, why is it showing that? Well, if you guys see me blur any of the video, it's because I think some of the vampire spawns are butt naked. <laughs> Oh, that was not that good, because they all succeeded in their saves. Most of them did. Oh my god, Astarian's sweet! Okay. Move up a little bit. Astarian, we're going to have you attack this guy. Chatter teeth. Nice. You know what? I say we get right up in his face. What's Astarion's HP? I don't even see him in the order of turns. Okay, now it's time. Let's see if I have a potion of speed. Damn it. That would be so good, because Spirit Guardians would be amazing right now. But I feel like I have to do Mirror Image first before Spirit Guard. Nah, screw it. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Oh, I have active for Carlac right now. Change it. Nice. Such a beautiful battleground right now with the plant growth and Oh, there goes Spirit Guardians. You gotta be kidding me. Man. Really should have used mirror image first. Oh great. Now Shad Oh man. Are you serious? What is up with the damage? Oh, man. Okay, we are severely outnumbered right now. Don't how I do have my cleave. Tell you what we can do. Drop this on the ground after we took a heal. Where is it? I don't see it on the ground. I have a bat right there. You can attack a potion too. But I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hold on. Put this in Wolf's inventory. Let me pull him to the side. Let me test it with a greater healing potion. We can set it right here. Perfect. And then I can do a cleave attack. And I wasn't close enough to it, but I can move over a little bit. Do, 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 do. I don't think this guy this guy might get healed from it. Uh oh. Don't know if it's worth taking the opportunity attack to walk into the mist. Alright, Carlac. Go, you got this. I think we're gonna start her off with a superior two. Let's just start killing things. Our only chance. Need good rolls. There we go. That's what we need. Wish I had Guardian of Faith. If I had all my spell slots coming in, I should have taken a long rest before coming down to Kazador. That would have helped a little bit, you know? Critical miss against the one HP bat. Nice, Astarion. 
Ray of Frost? Seriously? Alright, let's see what type of scrolls we got here. I have fire bolts. Otto's Irresistible Dance. Cloud Kill is poison damage. And Wall of Ice. Damn. What if I just use this? And cut off. Target's blocked. I don't want to risk it. I don't know how that's going to cast. Let me see if these guys are... Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and do cloud kill. Let's get it right on top of everyone over here, except Karlak. It's going to hit this Aurelia vampire spawn too, but that's okay. Damn, that is a powerful, powerful spell. That's for sure. Okay. Now let's disengage. And let's move Astarion behind some cover. The bats are following him. Gotta get Shadow up here. Come on, Wolf, you can do it. Stay alive, my man. Paralyzed. That's not even funny. Hit F5. So it tells me I might be wiping right now. Oh my god, dude. Every oh yeah, it's because she's paralyzed. That's why they're getting critical hits. Cloud kill looks really cool. Starion's like the only character in my group right now that's like okay at the moment. This is crazy. All right, Wolf's got 28 HP, karlax has got 13. Both are paralyzed. Wow, Cloud Kill you can cast again? It's a good thing I noticed that, holy crap. I might be to get a... Hold on, this, this might actually be pretty good. I have to pick up Cloud Kill, Let's see if I can get it to where it doesn't hit any of my friendlies. A one, two, three right there. Don't want Shadow Heart in it. I think this might work. Where's that caster? Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, I like it. I like it. And then we're going to disengage and get right up in Chatter Teeth's face. I don't see Kazador anymore, even though we saw him turn into mist when I pushed him. Not even fair, man. That's not even fair. Alright, Wolf is officially dead. It's only a Starion alive right now. Starion in shadow and the spiritual weapon. Come on. I think we might be TPK in here. Unless I can pull off something. Potion of speed would be... No oh, look at this. Oh, yes. If I could push this guy off the ledge with a Starion, that would be incredible. We're going to try it. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Ready? Shadow Heart's officially dead now, too. Oh, my God. I do have one Revivify scroll. Let's throw a potion. This should work. Ha! Okay, that didn't work. Did I misclick? All right, we're going to take a bunch of opportunity attacks here. 
Just little bats. We got this. I lost my concentration on cloud kill. Come on, work! No! Damn it! Sorry for yelling. Oh, God, 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 God. Oh, no, 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 no. How'd she just pass that? Come on, Astarion. Oh, man. Okay. Potion of flying. Potion of invisibility. This might save the day. I love when encounters get really, really tough because then it forces you to look at your... I'm someone who doesn't, like, care that much about every item in the game or every potion that you can make, but once I start getting into tough situations, then I feel incentivized to start looking more into everything that I have and picking up things. And uh, this is one of those opportunities right now. So let's see what we can do. I do The revive scroll will work. Um, I'm thinking I probably want to get up Shadow Heart. Although she doesn't have a spell slot for that. Although, I'll tell you what I could do. If I pick up Shadow Heart, then I could use the Potion of Angelic Slumber with her. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Invisibility lasts for 10 turns. Let's go ahead and let's dash. And let's see if we can... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just a little bit too short on shadow right now. And we don't want to break the invisibility. It ends early if the entity attacks, casts another spell, takes an action, or takes damage. Okay, alright, so... Actually, using a scroll of revivify would take me out of invisibility, too. I have to go to the bathroom so bad right now. This is, this is too intense, though. Protecting presence. Oh my god. Oh my god. Astarion's out of the battle right now. Oh my god. <gasps> well, some rests better than none. Okay, hold on. We gotta go into turn. I gotta think about this right now. We have three dead companions. I might be able to do something right here. Watch this. I think I can. All right. Let's move Astarion all the Let's way to go. over here. Just need Shadow Heart. Still too far, seriously? Okay, let's use... Move up just a little bit. Let's put Shadow Heart back up here. Let me hit F5. <laughs> Take you. Oh my god, this is gonna help, work. Please. This is gonna work. How delicious. Maybe when I come out of turn based mode, I'm not sure if these guys are going to. There we go. I'm gonna find out. I think we're okay. Freaking intense, man. This is intense. Okay, Shadow and Astarion. You guys come back up here. Okay, we're gonna go out of turn based mode. I'm gonna get them up here to safety. We're gonna heal up, and then we're gonna come back down and win this battle. And I'm not even going back to camp. 
All right, so we're going to come right here. Get Shadow Hearts. Let's see if we can find that potion. I think it's called Angelic. There it is. Drink to fall into a two-turn slumber. Unless interrupted, you gain the benefits of a short rest and regain all first and second level spell slots. Okay, Shadow Heart sleeping. Let's see if I have any more Revivify scrolls. I do. Perfect. Okay, so we can actually sneak back down. For some reason, I thought I was out of those. Nice, we can do Spirit Guardians again, too. We don't have any more... We don't have any more rests. Perfect! Okay, yeah, Starion. Let's go ahead and get Wolf back up here. Take you. Hells. I need to hold on. All right, buddy, you're fine. Yep, no more short rests. I'm refusing to go back to my camp right now. We'll save that. Let's see what other potions we have. Could use a few spell slots, but we'll drink one, two. I'll buy some more potions when we get to the city. And three. And Shadow Heart, we're going to have you cast Cure Wounds. Get rid of Bless, Cure Wounds. Cure Wounds level 2. Take you. And Wolf, we're going to have you call in your animal companion, if you don't mind. Let's call in, let's do the bear again. Okay, and uh, here we go. Just Karlak that needs to be revived. I do have one more resurrection scroll. This could be interesting. I think it's going to work though because they're not facing this way. It's a little bit further. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Our luck only lasted so long. Shadowheart's actually not in the battle. So this is nice. I'm going to take her and move her. Oh, no. I pressed the C button. She was already crouching. Okay, now she's in the battle. All right. All right, Asarion. Let's kick some ass, my man. Let's go, brother. Beautiful. Karlak has like no HP right now. <laughs> the bats went over my healing potion. No more rages. Okay, I'm going to learn my lesson. I'm going to do mirror image first. Even It's so tempting to do spirit guardians. Mirror image first. Then we'll move up just a little bit, just in case they charge me. And I think I'm actually going to hold my bonus action here. Okay, Wolf, let's get you in the battle, my man.
Plant growth is so beautiful. Damn, man, the stupid paralyzed. So tough. Carl, I so close to being dead right now. Okay, it's time for everybody to die. Here we go. <laughs> so awesome. I wouldn't attack Shadowheart either if I was you. This guy's almost dead. Might as well just finish him off. Just the spellcaster. The spellcaster doesn't seem to have many spell slots left, though. Stay alive, Astarion. We're here for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh Stupid bat. You gotta be kidding me. Get a wolf. <laughs> Back down from a bat and poisonous bats. See ya, Mr. Bat. Hate to tell ya. Okay, now let's pick up our friends here. Right over here next to the nude character. Keep the camera facing this way. 82 HP. Damn, I should have just shoved them off the ledge. My animal companions get all these extra bonus actions. Larian really buffed them up. All right, buddy, I'm not putting up with you anymore. See ya. Wow, that was crazy. Where's Astarion? Doesn't have anything to say after that. I'm gonna move away over here. We gotta do some looting. 
I can't take much more. Let's talk to Astarion. Not now. Not when Kazadol's finally mine. Hurry to his coffin. It's time to end this. Oh. Okay. There's his coffin right there. Oh man, I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna end up facing him again. But I'm also worried about taking a long rest because I wonder if that would progress time. I feel like now is the time. These guys don't got any loot. Alright, well, let's click on the sarcophagus. We defeated Kazador, who retreated to his sarcophagus to heal. He's vulnerable now. All we have to do is open the sarcophagus's lid and finish him off. Okay, so... It makes sense. We pushed him off, turned into the little red mist, and then went right back to his sarcophagus to heal. But we can't allow that. the ritual you started I'll never have to fear anyone ever you think me a fool that I would allow anyone to usurp me speak the words and ascend in my place hm? the runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual complete it and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. Get over here. We can do this. Didn't you hear him? If you complete the ritual, you'll be consumed. <laughs> Trust me. I know what I'm doing. You can't finish the ritual, Astarion. You'll kill all these people. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if I complete the ritual, think of the power I'll have. With me by your side, we can... We can save the city! We can save ourselves. Insight check. Look into his eyes. Try to see what's driving this. eyes but also the hunger the thick smell of blood in the air and the promise of power being so close is intoxicating to him all he can see is the power of the ritual and the freedom that power brings the freedom to do anything to be anything oh man we don't really trust Astarion. We're not that close to him. We've become fairly close with a shadow heart. I want you to live a life you're proud of, Astarion. You can't be proud of this. DC 18. Come on. Come on, come on. Better than them. 
But I'm not above enjoying this. Is... is it over? Is he... <sighs> yes. He's gone. What does that mean for us? Sorry, y'all. I have to blur this out because nudity is showing right now. And that means my video will get age-restricted and... Not even thinking about making money off the video. An age-restricted video will not be recommended pretty much anyone. For some reason, nudity is showing right now, even though I don't have that box checked. Alright, so, Pal Petra says, what does that mean for us? What do you want it to mean? I... I don't know. Your choices are simple, really. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Ah. Now that is a question. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. These are some tough decisions. Like, I don't know what to do with them. Let's release them. They deserve the same chance you got. 7,000 Astarians unleashed on the Sword Coast. It'll be a well-dressed flood of mayhem, at least. No. He's right. The poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I... lured them here. someone to lead them. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. What? No, we can't. Just try to keep them out of trouble. I think we're done here. Let's go. Oh. That's it. He's gone. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. How does it feel? I'm not sure. I feel a little uh, 
numb what I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I... Just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. Item received. Whoa. Very rare. Versatile. Staff. Arcane enchantment. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. When the creatures affected by your spells fail, any associated saving throws regain one to four hit points. I'm going to give this to Gale. Most likely. Let's put it on my characters to see what it looks like. Damn, man. That thing's huge. Bizarre family ring, and also Rhapsody. Scarlet Remittance. Gain a plus one bonus to attack rolls, damage, and spell save DC for every foe you slay up to a maximum of three. Possibly inflict bleeding when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible. Damn. Gonna be a great Astarion weapon right there. Put it on him and see what he looks like. Light, too. That's awesome. Really cool. Okay. We defeated Kazador and released his prisoners. We should tell Alma the good news. And the decisions that you have to make in this game are some of the toughest decisions I've ever made in a video game in my entire life. Larian has me emotionally invested in this game. Like, when Astarion was crying, like, I felt that, man. And the animations, too, were just so well done. It's so believable. Report back to Alma, and then we'll probably call it quits for this episode. Oh, here's Alma right here. Okay, well this will be interesting. Away with you because of my bear. The Alma is the leader of the Gurs, and we talked to her back in the Rivington district a few episodes ago. And she gave us a side quest to slay Kazador. Hopefully, I better hit F5, because who knows what she's going to think right now I pray the spawn will stay in the underdark we will show no mercy if they return here is that it all that matters now is the future there are few of us left but we can rebuild we can be strong again A nice axe you killed one vampire, but released 7,000 of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. And our children, what of their fate? Casador turned everyone we brought him into spawn. I can only assume your children were somewhere in those wretched cells. You'll find them in the Underdark. Although you may not like what you find, this is difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Kazador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. Hey, look, it's Gandril. What's up, buddy? Everybody's running for my bear. <laughs> It's been a long day. I'll need to rest soon. 
Okay. The Gur people are grateful for our role in taking down Kazador Zar. We are sure to have them by our side, come what may. Interesting. I wasn't sure how that would turn out, considering that we freed a bunch of those vampires too, but great. Okay, well, thank you all so much for watching. Act 3 so far has been a phenomenal experience, and we still have a few more companion quests to do. Gal, Shadow, Karlak, Will. Still lots of fun ahead of us. I'll catch you all on the next one.